Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Bohm and I'm an ophthalmologist with Eye Surgeons Associates. I specialize in cornea and external disease. Welcome to FYI. Today I'm going to talk about herpes eye disease. There is a family of viruses called the herpes viruses. Two of these viruses can involve the eye. They are different than the herpes virus, which is normally associated with the sexually transmitted disease. Herpes simplex virus 1 is the same virus that causes cold sores on the lip and mouth. It can also involve the eye. The other virus in the herpes family is the varicella zoster virus, which is associated with chickenpox and shingles. Herpes simplex virus can affect many structures of the eyes. It is very common and is something that can be uh, treated quite easily. When herpes simplex vi virus 1 involves the eye, it can involve the eyelids, the conjunctiva or the white of the eye, the cornea, and internal structures. Typically the eye is red, scratchy, irritated, tearing, and can cause blurry vision. It is important to be seen by an ophthalmologist to diagnose this condition. If you are diagnosed with herpes eye disease, you are often treated with topical or, anti or oral antiviral medications. And in some cases, if there is secondary inflammation of the eye involved, you can be treated with topical steroids as well as oral antiviral treatment. Once herpes involves the eye, it can recur indefinitely. It does this when it travels from the nerve fibers, which it is in residence in the body, and becomes active on the skin or the eye. The other herpes virus that involves the eye that I referenced earlier was the chickenpox or varicella zoster virus. While chickenpox does not usually involve the eye, shingles can affect the eye uh, in many different forms. Everybody gets exposed or has had chickenpox in their lifetime and the virus goes dormant in the body. At some point, usually later in life, the chickenpox virus can reactivate and that causes shingles. When it involves the eye, we call it herpes zoster ophthalmicus. And this can present with a painful rash in and about the eye, involving the eyelids and the forehead, and the eyeball can get red and inflamed as well. Herpes zoster ophthalmicus is treated with oral antivirals and depending on the manifestations can also be treated with topical steroids or other eye drops. It is important as well to see your ophthalmologist if you are diagnosed with herpes zoster ophthalmicus as this can lead to many chronic eye conditions and can be quite problematic in the future. There is a vaccine available for shingles and it has been recommended that adults over age of 50 get this vaccine because it can de decrease the incidence of getting shingles by 50% and also can cut down the chance of shingles showing up in your eye. Thank you for watching my video today and please visit our website to watch other videos on other eye conditions at the eye surgeon's website.